They know what they're doing. Look at this. Look at this. If you're going to put robots in. I want to see this work. What are the chances of that? Part time, Tom. Fourth in the world. Something like that, yeah. That. What is average yield? 42 litres at the moment. 42 litres. Average. I'm going to say that a few times in this video because that is a lot of milk. All right, we're happy. We're milking 500 cows to a system, a to a system built for 100. Wow. 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 That, that, that's a big statement. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Just stopping for a bit of a coffee. Hello. Coffee, water, paracetamol. Wow. Wow. Morning. Hello. Good morning everyone. If you've not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. Today is a very, very exciting day. I have had the opportunity to do something I have never done before in my life. Milk in a rotary parlor, which is super duper exciting. We're at Wheatland Farm and we have Richard Eichel, Eichel here and you guys farm here. How many cows are you farming? Uh, we're milking about 660 at the moment. 660. We're going to get going and I think whilst we get milking, you're going to do a little bit of milking with yep. us as well. Yep. I'm going to get me waterproofs on. We'll get milking and when we get on, if you don't mind, I'm going to kind of pick your brains on what you've been doing and how you've been doing it. Righto. Is that all right? Amazing. But first, we're colorblind here because at home we've got a lot of color here. There's a lot of black and white. So the first group you were saying is the it's heifer, a heifer group. group. How many groups have you got on got the farm? Four groups. Four. You have heifers, highs, lows, and the fresh group. Right, okay, so you can kind of organize it yeah. a bit better. So all these are first calf heifers. First calf heifers. The keen, they came in first time, and you have the collars in. Yeah. Are the, what collars you got on? The rumination the Rumination. One. The class, so we've just put them on as well on yeah. our farm. They're so good, aren't they? Oh, really good. 680 cows. You would struggle to farm without them, wouldn't you? Yeah. I was just speaking to uh, Richard's dad before, Martin. We had how many calves you had? It's the eighth today. The 26 calves. 26 calves month. already, and it's the eighth. And his dad, Martin, has served 49 cows in the last three days. That's right, isn't yeah. it? That's mad. So if we serve 49 cows in two months, you know, it would be something, but it's just a different scale. But very, very excited. We are on a 60 point rotary, are we? 60 point rotary. So. Well, what does that mean? That means they're key. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll get them, come on, I'll get my waterproofs on and we'll start cracking on. To be fair, this isn't the biggest collecting yard in the world for the no. amount of cows you have. No, do milking groups. Yeah. The biggest group's about 250. Right, and you can fit them. So they'll fit in. Oh, wow. That's impressive, isn't it? It's six bays long, 20 foot bays, I'm guessing. Yeah. So 120 foot, oh, 40 foot wide, 45 yeah. foot wide. Yeah, just over 40 foot wide. <laughs> it's like my silage clamp. <laughs> How many have you got in the heifer group? Uh, 130. 130, this starts in the first car. Yes. So that means 25% of your herd, you know that's wrong. 20% of your herd is heifers, aren't they? Um, yeah, well, there's some in, in the lows. Right. Pregnant heifers. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, cool. They get moved back. Ah, uh, okay. And just keep yeah. the older ones, they know the what they're doing. Move, a, move across. So we're waiting for the gate to go down and then we start milking so then the heifers don't start coming back. How many people work in the morning? Because obviously we've seen your brother three, Simon. Three on a shift. Three on a milking shift. So one man does all the outside. One man does the outside, they're busiest. Georgia will be putting the cups on and we'll be brushing. You'll today. be prepping. Three people milking 660 cows. And then we have a lad come and does a feed in as well. Yeah, and then you'll have someone else in the cars with yeah. you. So yeah, five on. Yeah. But still, that's not bad at all. I can get it up. Everyone has a bar. Button been pressed. Oh, and that what starts it, this wire then. Full the wire, start and stop it. Oh wow, they know what they're doing, look at this. Look at this. One thing I have noticed, these cows are so clean. They look so good. What are you bedding down on? Sand. Sand. It's bedding on sand. Ten years. They're so clean and tidy, aren't they? Cows coming on there. And then we've got Georgia putting units on. First two are on. So is that your point? Is that when you can put them on? Yeah, so when they lift up, it's like the optimum 
distant like time time from, from yeah. dipping to unit. So like by the time they get here, their milk drops down. Yeah. The girl just putting them on, then she uses this thing just to keep the cluster high. And there we go. Count number 4,235. <laughs> so the team milk three times a day. It's five o'clock in the morning now. Then they milk at one o'clock and then they milk at nine o'clock. Losing count here. So we're on one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. So Richard just said the screen. Look at this. How cool is this? So again, it's a 60 point rotary. We're on 16. We're nearly on 20 cows. I'd love to know when we started this. 20 past five now. Well, we've been going five minutes, not even that. Actually, I could be able to tell on the camera. Three and a half minutes, and we have 36 cows going. Crazy. Right, they so come on no and they go blue yeah, once yeah. it IDs them, yeah, yeah. and then they go green once it's attached. So, so what are you doing there, button wise? That's a back and gate. Back and gate. They just push it, keep them. Keep them. Right, cool. That's clever, that, isn't it? That controls the back and gate. So instead of dip and wipe, and I dip and wipe, you just walk and go. The cows look fantastic, don't they? Like clean or Look at them. Look at them all as well. Look how much we're pushing on. This is mental. I should really get my um, I should really get my water on. I'm gonna go do that. So Richard just said it was half full. The clusters are just coming off now. Yeah, is that it? That is cool. Watched on Country Fowl once. They call it like a backwards milking parlor because instead of the cows, cows are like looking at each other and they can see each other. They don't feed in the parlor as well. That's interesting. Cows look really well. Just as these are heifers, they're clean, they're conditioned. Look at them just waiting for it. Every single cow knows what it's doing. Just about to finish now. And we'll see the cows come off at the end. Obviously, we'll see if we go down, but it makes sense to see it whilst we're up here. The cows are just coming off there. Watch them. They're coming on. They're coming off. Very cool. Right, I'm actually gonna get some waterproofs on, get my wellies on, and actually put a couple of clusters on. See, so you start popping off. Oh, about like that. Coming off, coming off. This is their carving boxes, so close to carving cows. They had two last night. It's got a little Angus there on the mum, so let the calf suckle for, suckle for a bit, which is good. Got another calf there, which is cool. Talk about being brand spanking new, eh? I'm going to put these on in the dry. Just have to stop for two minutes, just, I, I, I don't actually know why. Um, but this is, this is how you put units on. Look at that, that is speed. So I want to do a competition, Richard. Who, how, the fastest you can put on eight units. How fast do you reckon you can do it? Uh, pretty quick. <laughs> Especially in this kind of parlour. Just whiz through him. Yeah. Oh wow, so that's clever. So we've got the backing gate there, and then the next cows are going behind, and the backing gate, I'm gonna guess, is gonna lift up and go behind them. Obviously, if a cow poos, by the way, animals do poo. So have hoses all the way down, and there's hoses as well on where the units are getting put on. George is now chilling out, because the cluster won't come up. Just to wait until it comes up and get some suction. Quite good, because it doesn't make you sure you don't put them on too early. So that out of 120, there's probably, there is about 10 actually. One, two, three, four, five, 10. Only just started to push them on now. I have 130, sorry, of new carved heifers. So these guys are the newest cows. Look at those cows. They look so good. Holy moly. Four to go on. Look at that. They know what they're doing. Last heifer. So a heifer is a first calf cow. I want to see this work. Well, I've known of rotaries before. We leave a bit of a gap. I'm going to go for two or three. Let's see what Richard does. That's it. 130 milk in. I'd love to know what time we started. Probably, I'm gonna guess 25 minutes. Oh, it tells. Yeah, total milking time 25 minutes, bang on. Number of cows milk 129. Auto speed nine minutes every time it goes round. Milk received 1,440. There we go. Backing gates just lifted up. It's now gonna go over the cows. You can't you can actually just see the heifers. Are running back out. They don't. Uh, Richard said before they don't like coming out as much when it's raining. We've just got to go outside on the other side of that shed. So this next group, Richard, are high. Anything's had more than two calves. How many have you got in this group? 
it's about 250. 250, this is the biggest group. The biggest so this is the highest yielding group. And these cows have been milked last night at nine o'clock. And look at them, full of milk. What is average yield? Uh, about 42 litres at the moment. 42 litres? Average? Yeah. Wow! Obviously you've put this rotary in, it's a 60 point rotary, yeah? Yeah. What were you milking in before? We had 14 a side herringbone before. A 14 a side and then you went straight to a rotary? Yeah. Wow! Yeah, Why didn't you go for a bigger herringbone? Uh, we were milking 500 cows to a, a, to a system milk for 100. You're milking 500 cows in a 14 a side swing over? Yeah. I doubled up for us. Doubled? That's yeah, mental! We were Five and a half hours of milking. Three times a day. Three times a day. Wow. The pump never got cold. <laughs> uh, this is Richard's brother Simon as well. Hello. We're just saying average yield is 42 litres a cow. Yeah. That is unreal. Explaining you're in a 14 a side, yeah. uh, doubled up, yeah. and then you went to a 60 point road to it. How come you went for a 60 point instead of like a 50? Because you can go one bigger as well, can't you, to a 72? Yeah. Uh, 72, two people are own, can only just about keep up. Yeah. And at a 50, you're sort of wasting the second person a little bit. Right. 60 people is two, two people. people. Yeah. And I think as well, like I've been to, I've, I've seen a rotary from afar before, and normally they have like a taker offer or a checker. Yeah. How come you don't have that? That was one thing we didn't want was somebody round the far just, side. Just stood there doing. Milking three times a day if they haven't milked eight completely. You're all right. Yeah. How do you get sprayed with iodine? Is that a stupid question? Two little jets in there. Yeah. These two little jets. Yeah. Ten seconds after the unit comes off, it sprays. Oh, really? Yeah. We should go see that. Let's go look at that. I can't believe you're doing 42 litres a cow. That is colossal. We'll have a look at the feeding system. I need to put a cluster on a cow. I need to wash a cow. That is mad. We were just chatting, and I am obviously gobsmacked on how much milk they're producing, how well the cows... I was saying how clean the cows are as well. Yeah, yeah. They, they look so good. You were just saying when you came in here... Yeah, everything just like relaxed and took the stress off the cows and yeah. the stress off the people. And then from there we just progressed so, on. Do you know what you were producing milk when you're in the old parlour to yeah, now? If we got up to 34, 35 litres, yeah. we thought we were doing well. And that was three days yeah, times yeah. milking. And then just by going into this parlour, do you reckon, obviously a bit of stuff, but, yeah. what do you reckon this parlour gave you, litres wise, Probably compared to two litres, two litres of cow, yeah. and that's just 600, so you're nearly 1300 litres a day, yeah. just by putting the parlour in. It'd be interesting to see the payback, like obviously you guys have done that calculation anyway, but I'd like, the calculation for that would be very, very interesting. So obviously at home, we have like a mixed herd, so we have different colours, there's black and whites here, but you were saying you went from grazing cows. Went from grazing cows. So, I am put, I am put. so the cows are in all year round, obviously with three a day milk, it kind of got to, and Holstein's producing this much milk, you need to keep feeding them. So from the grazing system, you're milking how many cows? I'm milking about 150. 150, that, how long ago was that? 2006. 2006. And then in 17 years ish, you've yeah. just increased and increased and increased. We bought a neighbour's herd yeah. in 2006, which is the last lot we bought. Yeah. Everything else is home just bread. bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Dad said if we wanted to, wanted the cows, we have to milk them. So we did. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of can relate to it to a little bit. You guys are obviously heads away from me. But you kind of you've milked 500 in a 14 doubled up, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. So when you go into this, you appreciate it uh, so yeah. much more. Yeah, some days you come in, I think. It's it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, we'll get chatting. I might take over. Can I have a go with yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Right. We're actually going to milk a cow, well, prep a cow on a rotary. So you want to press it once? Okay. Oh, you press it once. Press it once. How, how much contact time do you need? Is that okay? Is that okay? It kind of grabs your teeth, doesn't it? Yeah, it grabs it, pulls it in. They love this machine, but I guess you change the brushes quite often. Yeah, you know, yeah, what, yeah. A red, what a red on them. 
Out of 10 days. Yeah. Georgia, how is the cleanliness of them last 20, 30 cows? Pretty good. Pretty good, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I have had the official nod from Georgia. Oh, I need to keep going here. This car stops so not no YouTube. Happy? Yeah, yeah, she's happy. Richard just said the ball has stopped itself. Today. Stopped itself because we got one milk in an exit. Show on the screen. So that means that cow's producing so much milk, she's been milking for longer than nine minutes. Yeah. Well, ish. Eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes. I could be a slow milker as well. Yeah. So number three five eight one three seven forty. How oh, much? What are we on now? Produced. 3,132 animals milk 240 and remember that's three times a day so 240 cows milk total milking time 45 minutes and 3,000 so she's just milked now so yeah. they should give it 57 litres of air 57 litres this is their high group but unreal so we're on i think about 240 obviously waiting for that cow 130 to start with we milked 110 of the high yielders I'd like, and the backing gate's just always just pushing cows up. I'm so in, so impressed with this. Like we asked why do you go for a rotary instead of the, the herring bow. I guess you don't have to walk as far, do you? No, no walking involved. Yeah, Until yeah. you have to go around the other side, and then it's 50 meters around. <laughs> 50 meters around. The other thing as well, in our parlor, we feed in the parlor. And then, can you feed in a rotary? You can feed in a rotary. But you chose not to, why? We haven't fed in the parlour for 25 years. Oh really? And you're doing 42 litres yeah. a cow? Everything's fed outside. I'm going to say that a few times in this video because that is a lot of milk and the cows look so good. Everything's fed outside fed in outside. the ration. Yeah. So you get you feed them like no out, out of parlour feeders, no. just in the ration. That's Everything, what you get. Everything's in a, everything goes through the mixer. Wow. <laughs> How much do you feed in the morning? I think about 37 ton a day at the moment. <laughs> a day, a day, a day. So do you feed all in the morning? Feed all, you feed once a day. Once a day, and then you just keep pushing keep it up. Pushing You've got something very special which we're going to have a look at later, a new toy. I would love one, but I, I don't think I could justify it at the moment. But how often were you pushing grass up? Uh, four times a day we were pushing up. And that's floor. it? Yeah. And, uh, I thought you'd be pushing it up all the time. No, there's a fair pile of it. <laughs> Did you look at like another system instead of a road trip? We inquired about robots yeah. and... Robots? You're going to put robots in? No, uh, we inquired. And <laughs> um, what was the decision on that one? Thought it'd limit our expansion too much. Yeah. This would have cost us about the same as... The amount of robots we need. The amount of robots we'd need. And you and could put another 400 cows on here. Yeah. I know it'd be a lot of work, but it wouldn't change too much. two hours milking. Yeah, yeah. Every milking. Yeah. How long does it take to milk? Two and a half hours. That's not bad. <laughs> So two and a half hours, five and a half, seven and a half hours a day you're milking cows, getting 42 litres, that's really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Simon just asked me, have I been going inside? I have not, not yet. So I actually saw um, back in the country farm days when it had dairy farming on it. The guy who went in there, there's a big farm down south, I think, and he said it's like, oh God, definitely wasn't expecting that. Go down and it's like your cows are watching you. So we've got one of these, yeah. probably a smaller one. Yeah. I don't know, it might be the same. Yeah, it's probably the same size, there's two eggs. Yeah. And then you on vacuum on demand as yeah. well. Yeah. And again, we can talk to each other whilst we're next to you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah yes. we've built it up on there, so it's like to get the oil still. It goes in there. It's all squeezed in there, keep the floor clean. It happens. Yeah, but be a bit careful, they're a bit steep. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. So how does it work, the road through then? Obviously, I just see how it goes round, but I've got no idea. So all the milking equipment is the same as on a conventional parlour. Yeah, so it's flash, all got the meters. Same flask, same full safety. So we've got all these, and yeah. there's your... Re that's for milk recording. Your NMR. And the full seaters and everything are in here. Yeah. So all the milking equipment's the same. The only difference is this spins around on those... On those wheels there, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Three drives that drive it, but it'll run on one, so if you ever got a problem, you, you can, can still just, run it. You keep going. Wow. What are those white things? That's the drain, so all the water on the floor uh, where the cows are yeah, runs yeah. to the front, down the drain, so all the all the drains end up in one point. That's like, so clever, isn't it? Rather than having 
Just muck everywhere. Through, yeah. So the cows actually, if we stand on those, actually leaning forward, leaning forward a little bit. Yeah. And then it comes down, yeah. wash it down there, it goes into there, and then there to slurry still. Yeah. And then when, you, when you're washing down where the cows are, the water's all running away from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them, they stand up. It doesn't make sense because then, the, then it runs that's where all the clusters are. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Your clusters are there yeah. so you can get in. But I didn't think about that. Yeah. You're so trying to wash, wash water, water uphill. uphill. Yeah. And everyone knows water will not go uphill. But wow. I tell you what, when you put this in, like you said, it's, it's unreal, isn't it? Yeah, so they're all like real happy. Yeah, oh, look at them, they're cutting away. It's like they go on a little bit of a ride three times a day. Because your brother was saying you don't feed in the parlour, no. everything you do is feed in the ration. You're not yeah. got out of parlour feeders, no. No. just in the ration. You feed once a day. Yeah. Well, yeah. make four mixes yeah. once a day. Yeah, one ration across all milking cows. Is that right? So yeah. your lows will get the, the same, same as your highs? Yeah. Wow. You just work on the theory that the lows won't eat so much as the highs. Well, it's obviously working. Yeah, yeah. The black plastic is frost protection. Oh, so when it gets so cold. So when it gets real cold, you drop that down and we put a space heater and you've only got to heat. Oh, so that's a cl freezing up yeah. and so that's a clever idea then, isn't it? Yeah. To drop that down, heat, just put a heater wherever yeah. and it goes wheels it's well wow. that sounds like something's gone wrong one day yeah. <laughs> we all know when there's an invention made it's because there's a problem found <laughs> very cool there are all the units ours has the same and at number 60 yeah, 60 point and that'll be one i can't believe you're 14 doubled up yeah. milking 500 cows yeah, <laughs> so it saved you three hours of milking yeah. and you're milking more cows yeah. and you're producing eight more litres of cows yeah. well you're gonna have a go i'm then. gonna have a go can i uh, join you georgia officially about to milk in the biggest cow biggest parlor i go Which one do you like putting it on? Try and do it so it's not weighing down on the back seat too much, so right. that it's kind of... Picking the back up, just hold. Yeah. It's hold just be... level. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry, I thought you were saying hold what I was So, like, if you leave it like that, it kind of, it kind of pulls down the back seat, and yeah. then they milk them evenly. Do you so like it? What do you like it on number two or three? Yeah, I mean like, obviously it depends on the cow. Yeah. Um, so a blue means you're milking three teachers, is it? Yeah. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Doing half the job here. Yeah. 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 Tell me I'm getting here on this. Maybe it's alright. Alright, we're happy. Yeah. got to catch up now a bit of a pause big catch up here there Richard looking at me flying this is a pro so this is the last of the highs we're gonna watch the gate go up so next will be lows yeah like the lows I haven't mentioned the actual parlor the rotary is a gear parlor so uh, because I spoke to the guys at gear and I was like I really like looking at different setups and you're like, oh, we've got this one in um, Worcestershire. We're in Worcestershire. Uh, and I'm actually going to a cramp thing tomorrow in North London. So it's about an hour and a half away. So it kind of makes sense. Do two birds with one stone. And you're like, oh, we've got this. And there's a couple other things they want to show me, which is going to be class. I would, obviously, we're going bigger and bigger every time I'm milking in a bigger parlor. There is a 72 bar. I think in America they have like 112 or something crazy. I don't know if it makes sense to put two next to each other. I've got no idea. Be interested to see it one day, maybe. I'd love to milk in an abreast parlor. Never milked in an abreast parlor. I'd love to milk in different parlors just to kind of give it a go. That's shallot, shallots and onion. There we go. Oh, watch your nose. It actually turns a bit faster than I thought it was. It goes quite quick, really, doesn't it? Well, they're not, cows aren't bothered. This is a low yielding group. How much milk? 
Okay, so we've milked the first calf cows, we've milked the high yielders, but 6,300 litres. It's cool. This one, yeah. thank you very much. I had to just go back down all the units that I uh, put on because I forgot to put the little beady thing on. Part time Tom. And yes, I'm gonna do every single cow. We're off on it. Like a cappuccino, isn't it? Yeah, it's still there. Colin? Yeah, that is right. Richie just said I'm a barista. I am. That is me. Part time milker, full time coffee maker. Richard, how tall is the platform for the cat? One, one meter. Uh, I put mine at 800. I should have gone 850. We were at 900 for the bale, and I hated it. It's too tall. Well, I'm shorter than you, so I'm quite short off. But yeah, I probably should have gone 850. That's one thing I changed with my parlor, and that was my fault. In the drawings, it says 900. It's still, it's not been a problem. But yeah, this is one meter. Uh, again, I'm not doing any work. I'm just chatting and admiring the, uh, the rotary. That's a nice cow, isn't it? 3670. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him now. I'm just gonna go for it now whilst I have my brew. And I'm slacking off. So how did you find how did you find cows going it to start with? Oh uh, first first day was a bit of a uh, nightmare. Yeah. We, we've all been there. Yeah, we had uh, three people pushing cows on. Yeah. Milk 480 the first day through here. Took five hours. That's not bad. No, no. It was better when we were milking in the old parlor, so that was bonus. <laughs> That's mad, that, isn't it? So was, they came to this one, came this one, pushing cows on, and they were faster the first ever milking than they were in the old one. That shows how much they improved. I've got to ask this question as well. What are heifers like to train it? Because we just had a load of heifers on first. Uh, First one. Half the heifers will walk straight on. Oh really? Just yeah. follow other cows? Follow the other cows. I guess that helps. Yeah, they're all in a fresh group of cows and heifers together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find this very interesting. 7,900 litres, 483 milk. We're milking for one hour and 37 minutes. So we're just finishing third group now. And I say we, that's a massive push because obviously I'm just having a look around. Fourth group's about to come in. So these are fresh, these are ones, no, they're not carved, are they? No, they're yeah, next fortnight. Oh, we've had another calf since this morning. Don't have automated scrapers, do no. you? No, we scrape everything out of the tractor. Wow, how come you went for a not automated scrapers? It's like half a job pushing the cows around. Yeah. So then the other half you spend scraping. Scraping up. So, and if it's a scraper tractor die, it dies, you, you put can put it on somewhere else, can't you? I agree with you. I'm, I'm the same. Oh, wow. Those are the first group. Yeah. These are the second group, the third group are in at the moment. Feeding molasses. Yeah. Feed molasses. Yeah. Dad really wants to do molasses. Yeah. Molasses and water? Yeah. What, just because grass is so dry? No, just to wet it up even more. Like, okay. Maybe on like six kilos of water. Or cow. Yeah. You got a case? Yeah. We love a case. The only one. We like the only one. Yeah. You need more cases, don't you? <laughs> no. Is that bed's are quite low, is that where you put them? Yeah, yeah, we got these, uh, these got a six inches of sand yeah. and then on a six inch curb and the newer ones are on an eight inch curb but right. it's still only six inches of sand. Yeah, so it's just got a bit. Yeah. Just it stops them up. Yeah, yeah, it's a much better job. Uh, you bed up on sand, yeah. there's a big problem with sand, isn't there? Yeah, where's just, everything? Everything dies. Yeah. But you've done the same thing as we do, to a degree. Um, you put in a... Yeah, a separator. It separates the fibre out, and then we get the liquid and the sand out, and from the liquid off the top of the sand. And so in the lagoon, we just end up with like the dirty... Dirty water. So yeah, that's a really good idea on sand. So you separate everything, it wears the separator out, but then it only wears one piece of kit out. Obviously, the scraper track is going to feel it, yeah. but anything, you know, anything past there, it's not going to go in your pumps as much. No. You might have a bit, but nothing like you would normally. No. Not going to get into the bottom of your slurry store and all yeah. that. Yeah. I thought that was a really good idea. Great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> Just, again, I chat to Richard off camera, I'm like, we should get this in. So, the cows are on, what diet are they on? Uh, they're two-thirds maize and a third grass, and then like a mixture of straight. So. Right. So, 
mix up ourselves. Yeah. And well, all cows are on the same diet. Yeah, that is. All milky cows. No one gets fed any more cake. Do you get them to eat up every day? They'll eat 90, between 98 and 100%, and yeah. then the bit that's left gets pushed down to the end today, and then tomorrow it's pushed down. So, so it gets, that, oh. that little bit. Oh, right, that little bit, there's a little bit down there. That gets pushed, pushed down, down there. there and then if the cows don't eat you by the end of tomorrow, tomorrow, it's pushed down. Chucked away. Yeah. Or young stock or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Do you, you rear all your own young yeah. stock as well? Yeah. So how many head have you got on the farm? Uh, we got some beef on another farm as well, and those weight 1,600 altogether. That's a lot of mouths to feed. That's a lot of mouths to feed. Just saw the Great Wall of Maze. Should we just have a quick look at that? Twin Orga feeder. I have heard something might be coming tomorrow. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Find out another time. We've got Paul on the feed. How many acres of maize did you do? We did just over 500 acres of maize. 500 acres of maize. And you're saying it's a good crop this yeah, year? Yeah, been real good crop this year. We've probably done 16, 17 tonnes across everything. To the acre. Because it's quite dry down here. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. Compared to us where we're a little bit wetter, you could say. That bit of wet weather, obviously getting it off was a bit... It's been a bit tricky, <laughs> but not too bad. But the yields are better, the aren't The yields are a lot better, yeah. Yeah, compared to last year, we'll be two tonne an acre. More. across everything. And um, Simon was just saying to me that two ton to the acre more doesn't sound like a lot. When you're doing 500, 550 acres, you've got to find a place for a thousand tons. Yeah. A thousand tons. I should see how tall this maze is. Look at the size of that. 50 meters. Yeah. 150 feet. Yeah, and then there's another one. Is that yeah, the one that's, that's wrapped up? Yeah. It's good you only feed one today. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. freeze the load for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. So we feed twice a day because I can't fit in the feeder. Yeah. You do all your own contracting, like yeah. as in uh, field work yeah. as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we do everything. Own self propelled tractors, trailers, butt raking, drilling, yeah. plowing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is a busy old operation. Yeah. <laughs> fresh cows last so they've got more time with them so all the other cows are milked they've gone back fresh cows sometimes it can be a problem might be a few dump buckets on because obviously milk can't go in the tank straight away and they're all just feeding out right let's go back to the parlor so, everyone asking i don't not read the comments yet how do we take uh, dump milk out so we've got hooks on so just hook into there, and then the dump milk just goes into there. Say no, this is a newer keypad to what we've got as well. It's probably a rotary keypad, because obviously I don't need that. We, we were chatting before, mast items rates in this, compared to the old parlour, or was it about the same with the sand? Because sand's the best, isn't it, for mast items? It's probably halved in this parlour. Hard what? So just, just the parlour's probably halved? Yeah. That's a good rating. <laughs> and then the big question I have to ask, obviously you've gone for a gear parlour, so did I, it's a great decision. What made you decide gear, this one parlour is going to be it? We'd looked at lots of different different models and makes and everything, and uh, you'd have bits on them all that you didn't like, and when we looked at this one, there was very little that you could find that we didn't, didn't like. like. You got like low cabinets, it's nice for the cows to come in and like come off. And uh, the ACR rams are just one straight pull, not through a pulley system or anything. We also, we, we didn't want to put anybody around the far side to deal with problem cows. Cluster alignment was very important to yeah. us. And with the arm and these, then you hold the cluster there. And we want to put money in and forget about them right, yeah. when they've gone off. We were just talking to Richard before about you just, it's employing another person, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's another cop. Three um, times a day, every day. I mean, the ACR rams are all on compressed air and uh, the drives are all run off compressed air. So the vacuum in here is just milking the cows, yeah, yeah. nothing not, else. Not doing anything else. What's this parlour called? T8900. Is it called T8900? When did you put it in? 2020. Were you, you were building in 2020. We were building through. We started installing two days after the first lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> when was your first cluster put on? 26th of August 2021. We've been in three years. Three years, 2020, in it. Yeah, so I yeah. was. You were 26th of August. Yeah. I was the 22nd of August. 
And I know that because it's the day before my wife's birthday. When we come in, they wanted to know, did we want to milk just twice on the first day, or were we going to milk three, like, three mm. times? And we said, oh, well, see, the more the cows come on, the quicker they'll get used to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So uh, we milked in the old parlour, moved the silo from the old parlour round to here, yeah, yeah. and then uh, milked in here at lunchtime. How big do you milk? Uh, tank, bolt tank. 34,000 litres. And you'll fill that every day, won't you? Yeah, we've got a lorry. Filling a lorry of milk every day. It's when you get just over a lorry load and <laughs> have to come back for like a couple of hundred litres. <laughs> That's when you know you've won. <laughs> Are you going to expand anymore? That's a big question. Not for a bit. Yeah, you, you're kind of happy. Yeah. I'll chat to you in two years and we'll see what you're up to, eh? Right, there's other ways of moving on, isn't there? It's right. not all about bigger's not more. always better, is it? Like making what you got more efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went from 35 to just over 40 litres, where you can go again, can't you? Do you reckon? Yeah. Wow, that, that, that's a big yeah. statement. And the other thing as well, Simon was telling me, this this type of parlour was the first one ever in the UK, was it? This one was, yeah. yeah. First one ever in the UK, were you saying third or fourth in the world? Something like that, yeah. That is, that is mad. I, I pretty much know the answer. This road three, would you have gone bigger, gone smaller, perfect size, would you have changed anything? The size is right. We've never milked in another road three, so you don't know what, what other things it works for what we want, yeah. what we want to do. One drain we put in the wrong place, and just where the cows come on, we should have had another squeeze gap. But that's the only thing you change? Yeah, pretty much. That's not bad. No, no. That is not bad. So this is the last group, very last group, fresh cows. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't seen. I haven't seen the iodine spray yet. I need to see that. So 10 seconds after ten it comes off. after it come off. There we go. Everyone, count to 10. That's it. That's it. That little bit of squeeze. Yeah. That's it. We've not even talked about this. So they just separate the legs, don't yeah, they? Make sure to make it easier to put the clusters on. Yeah, yeah. It's a like a sort of cheap and cheerful way of spraying, spraying cows. Spraying cows again saves a yeah. man and woman being yeah. in. Yeah. They tell us it's about as good as a person because it's not a hundred percent. But a person will be sat up there on their phone. And yeah, just yeah, a couple yeah. Of... We watch it again. So I've seen these at like shows and stuff, but never actually seen them work on farm. There it is. I think I got it a bit on the camera. Look at that, right. Just getting to the end now. All the freshens. Tell you what, out of 660 cows, you don't have a lot of lame cows. Because lame cows cost you money, don't they? I, I completely agree. So if cow's lame, I've said it loads of times before, it won't eat, if it doesn't eat, it produces less milk, it loses condition on its back, it won't get in car, and it won't be active. So there's loads of things with a cow being lame and um, there aren't a lot of lame cows but being on sand will help loads do you do all do you do all your own foot trimming uh, we have foot trimming come once a fortnight right and just kind of nails it off yeah. and they have all the gear don't they yeah, yeah. so i think that's the only thing they don't do here because everything else you seem to do all yourself pretty much yeah pretty much. we were talking about heifers coming on weren't we yeah and where's the number is, is this her this one number eight she just walked on with the rest of them just walked the on the unfortunately i missed it i didn't know she was a heifer uh, yeah, walked on carb last night, did she? Yeah, yeah, carb this morning. Yeah, and then straight on. And obviously, George's gonna put a dump bucket on it. You can have all the technology in the world. You still need a pen. You still need a pen, and you still need a board. Fiberglass. Yeah. Who did it? Uh, Dragon molding. No. It's easy, you just stand in one place and just keep washing it down. We've got the whole family here as well. And then Richard is just putting all the clusters back together. They're good these aren't they? I think we have yeah. the same ones, they're really yeah. good. Are you on the silicon line or something? We've got the, um, yeah, the IQ cluster. Yeah. Love them. In the great try. Sand sticks on the balls in there sometimes. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. So I did not to. Yeah, that's a, that a better idea. And like they're a bit weird to get used to. Talk about the IQ cluster I have. But like now, like they're so good. It's weird when I put this on them. Yeah. But these are really good because you can still put two on and two on, and the suction doesn't go. But the old clusters that we had, if you lifted two uh, cups up at the same time, it would lose the vacuum. Oh, have we got the statistics. Oh, we got the facts. So we've milked. 
653 cows. That wouldn't probably count the dumb bucket cows. I don't know if it has. And we've done 9,396. Is your litres the same every milking-ish? Because there's not a bigger split in between. Not, not a great, great difference. Pardon? Not a great not difference. Great. Because your split's the same, is it? Eight hour split. There's always more in the morning than the last at night. Oh really? Even with your eight hours? Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? I guess they've slept. I bet that is it. Because cows make milk when they're sat down. Yeah. I bet they've slept during the night when it's dark. And during the day they're eating and they're just kind of <laughs> refilling. I really like this board. I bet you look at this constantly, don't you? Yeah. Constantly. I can officially say I've milked in a road three parlor. How class is that? Biggest parlor I have ever, ever milked in. We might just go have a look at all the couple of other stuff. But a big thank you to Richard and Simon for showing me around. Georgia for letting me put some clusters on with her. Really, really nice family. Absolutely fantastic how far they've grown in the last 17 years. Absolutely mad. Just cleaning up, just finishing now. It's incredible. 42 litres a cow. Three days of milk, three times of milking. Milking for two and a half to three hours. Done. And they do everything themselves. Obviously, well, like I say, we might go look at some other stuff, but it's been an absolute pleasure. Richard, I'd just like to say a massive thank you for letting me come this morning. It's a pleasure, Tom. <laughs> I, I didn't pay him to say that. It's been great. I, I love seeing new ways of doing things. Well, it's new to me. I'd love to like kind of try milking in different spots. Unreal, isn't it? Absolutely unreal. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. We'll try and answer them. Pull Gear's arm and see if you can send me different places. There is a little bit of a, a rumor from them. They might be sending me something somewhere very, very exciting in the new year. I'm trying to trying to persuade it out with, you know, on these trips. I think they went to Holland actually with the semen people as well, but it was March and things were getting much, very, very busy in March. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. TP Merch is here. A big thank you to Gear for letting me come. Well, getting me the contact to come. Oh, look at that. Keep it nice and tidy as well. These are things I forget every time. Just put on a wash. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you in a bit. Bye. Milk tanks here. 28 tons of rape meal coming in. Joe Seals will be excited for this. There's a really fantastic calf here. It's a lovely yeah. calf, isn't it? Yeah. Do you mind if I take a photo of that? Yeah. Having a bit of a play here. It's official. I want one of these. Look at it. Pushing all the grass up.